All of those pretty corals that you see in the tanks are the result of two sets of corals. One that's in the tank looking pretty and getting dirty. The other ones that I have here, these are the dirty ones. And these have to be cleaned in bleach. The corals soak in a bleach water solution anywhere from a couple of hours to overnight, whatever, depending upon my schedules. We're just going to use bleach to bleach them, and depending upon how much bleach there is in there, will determine really how quickly uh, the corals come clean. Temperature is also important. Uh, in the summertime, because it's warmer, the corals clean faster. In the wintertime, when it's colder, uh, the corals don't clean as fast. So once the corals have bleached and visually become clean, we can then move them over into the rinse water solution. Rinse water is exactly that, water that we're going to use to rinse the corals. Now the whole point of having two sets of corals is so that you can have one cleaned in advance. If you allow enough time, you can have all the bleach rinsed out of the corals so that you don't potentially introduce the bleach into the tank. I learned my lesson twice that way, the hard way. And once one set's moved over and rinsing, we can start on the next set. Now of the corals that I'll bleach, these are real corals, or should I say real dead skeleton corals. They're made up of calcium, calcium carbonate. It's the skeleton that the coral itself grew upon. They'll be impervious to the bleach, meaning they won't lose their color. And the natural colors tend to be whites, reds, purples, blues. These corals won't lose their natural colors. water since this morning. They will be free of any bleach smell and will not be harmful in the aquarium at this point. And as you can see, they're very, very clean, very white. And that allows for consistency in the look. And that looks very attractive. I think. The plants you have to be a little more careful with, especially the plastic ones, uh, because the bleach will tend to dry those out. Uh, and with the silk plants, it'll tross, it'll bleach some of the color up. These pleated cartridges need to be rinsed, bleached, and rinsed again to blow out all the debris that they've trapped within all those folds. Otherwise, they're just not going to pass water the next time you use them. And even though this bleaching and rinsing process takes a bit more time, I think the end result is a much more attractive and brighter look in the tank. And prettier corals too. Wow.